Oh my God, where is Kalo? He is always late, and I lose half of my brain cells whenever I think about it. Kalo. Yo, what's going on, Martin? Kalo. Did you realize you were late? No, and I honestly don't care. School is just a waste of time. I could be doing better things like playing Half-Life 3 on my computer, but no I have to be here listening to her crap. That tires it. Oh. Holy crap. Why the hell did I just fall? I was trying to give you a piece of my mind. But apparently your baldness got in the way of my revenge. Kalu. Just stop harassing Miss. Martin, she's a badass, and she does not need your baldness getting in the way of her revenge. Trust me being the ginger boy here, I know things. That's right, I don't need to deal with your crap interfering with my teaching. Just, sit there and listen to my beautiful voice harmonize the class. Can I go and make out with the pencil sharpener? It has a luxurious taste. You, you're so weird, Ian. But whatever, go ahead. Look, you're gonna make out with me. While our weird little classmate, Ian, is making out with the pencil sharpener, I am going to explain to you my life with my husband. Ooh, boy, this is going to be exciting. So, one time, my husband was working out at the local gym. I walked up to one of his working out friends and told him, Hey, do you want some meat since I cooked meat for his party? And I think I worded that wrong, because then I remembered him tossing me in the air and throwing me onto a table, causing it to break into numerous pieces, making my back break. Do you even realize what giving someone meat even means? Yes. It clearly means offering some meat that I cooked. I don't even know why I got thrown through a table, apparently he was a vegan. No, it means a threat to fight someone. So, in all correct terms. You asked your husband's friend for a fight. Oh. Well, then I apparently got my wish. I thought he was a triggered vegan. Oh my god, is your back okay now miss? Martin? I don't want some muscle man messing with my teacher. No one shall harm the goddess of all gingers in the universe, miss. Martin. Yeah, that happened months ago, Leo. My husband got up and high-fived him. And then days later I asked why, and he said, you worded your sentences wrong. Be right back, miss. Martin, I am going to teach that stupid muscle man a lesson. It's my gingerness versus his muscles. We all know who's gonna win here. Hey, Ian. How are you doing? Are you done making out with the pencil sharpener yet? It's time to sit your ass down now and do some paperwork like you were doing earlier. Shut up, miss. Martin, this pencil sharpener needs more making out, please leave us be. Ah, for crying out loud. Ian, we don't have all day. <laughs> but, miss. Martin when can I make out with the pencil sharpener again? A, I don't know, you got germs all over it. Now I need to give it a chemical bath because your Ian-like DNA has infects this sharpener. Now I bet you it does not even work now. Well, sorry, I think my DNA is a good addition to the sharpener. I bet it likes it. Nonsense. Now shut up Ian. Kalo can sharpen a pencil to see if it works. What happened? I don't know. I am sharpening my pencil like you specifically told me to. Oh my god. You jammed the pencil so far in there. You do know how electric pencil sharpeners work, right? I'm not jamming it in there. It must be done. And it's all sharp. Do you know how electric pencil sharpeners work is the real question here. Just move. Let me see.
Look, it's not even sharp yet. It had the same tip as it did when you put it in. Ah, oh, shoot! Did you just break my new electric pencil sharpener? Now, hold up, Ginger Beast. You blamed Ian because he was making out with a sharpener. That is probably the reason why it doesn't work. Ah, come on now, Kalo. Use your damn head. It was working fine when you sharpened the pencil the first time. Then once you jammed the pencil in, it stopped working. Well, it was probably in the process of breaking from Ian's disgusting DNA. Shut up, Kalo. Don't bring my DNA into this. Miss. Martin has good points about you breaking the sharpener. You obviously broke it since you jammed your damn pencil in there. That's enough, Kalo. I thought Ian broke it, but actually it was you who broke it. Now, go to the office right now for vandalizing my brand new sharpener. Kalo, what brings you here? Well, miss. Martin said I broke her brand new electric pencil sharpener. Kalo, how dare you break, miss? Martin's new electric pencil sharpener, that's it. I am calling your parents. Hello. Mr. and Mrs. Kalu, your son Kalu broke miss. Martin's new electric pencil sharpener. Can you please pick him up? Thanks, bye. Kalu, let's go home right now. Kalu, how dare you break miss. Martin's brand new electric pencil sharpener, you know you will be paying for it with your own money. That's it you are grounded for 20,000 years, go to your room right now.